Hello, I want to make a quick video on how new STM32F7 compares with old STM32F4. F um, this processor is a bit more efficient because it, it uses a, a bit different um, architecture for the data and, uh, and uh, command lines. Well, you can read about that. And this one is, is old STM32F4. Now, um, uh, demo is I'm painting uh, uh, same size fractals, so each processor has to uh, uh, make same amount of calculation per second, and uh, of course, uh, be, because this guy is only r should run only to 180 megahertz, um, I overclocked it to run at the same speed uh, as this processor. So we uh, have both uh, bo uh, bo same uh, clock speed. Now, uh, only difference about this is. Um, uh, I, I, because it uses hull drivers, uh, I hate hull drivers, and I, I was I was unable to figure out how to uh, point directly to the screen. Of course, it should be pointing directly to um, SRAM, and from SRAM, uh, DMA to D will take that data and display it on the screen. But uh, it's difficult for me to understand that gibberish, and well, it's first time I'm using hull drivers, so please forgive me. So what I did. Um, it's um, as I said, is the same size fractal. It's uh, two hundred and forty. Uh, it's maximum maximum um, width and uh, two hundred and seventy-two. So uh, because the scheme is three hundred and twenty, uh, I'm not using uh, the last portion. And of course, I'm uh, painting fractals. So let's reset this processor. Uh, some something wrong with that development board. Uh, it's doesn't want to reset each time. So, okay, let, let's see. Now, as you can see, uh, this guy is much more efficient. And, and of course, it's even using the 32-bit color. So it's um, alpha and 8 bits for green, red, and blue. This guy using only RGB uh, six, uh, 565. So it's a, lo a little bit less data. But uh, 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 color calculation is the same. Uh, it's two hundred and uh, two hundred. Uh, it's over two uh, two hundred uh, color values. Uh, so as you can see, um, uh, this guy is much more. It's much faster than um, the uh, old STM F F four. But what do you expect? It's uh, I think it's one thousand core marks, and this is I. Uh, it is uh, uh, at least two times less. So, and zoom levels and uh, 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 and um, zooming constants are the same. So it's basically the same code. And um, yeah, STM thirty two F seven is a bit faster, but I mean, well, we should we should not discontinue um, how. Uh, SD library. I I I I was get used to that, and suddenly it just everything goes to a whole driver. So yeah, I don't like that. And one. So this is the new development board. It has a LAN. It has uh, audio in out, uh, fast S, uh, SD RAM. Usual. I think it's Arduino interface, SD card interface. Um, S Div. It's for sound, I think. Uh, camera interface. It also have um, USB full speed and uh, high speed. One is, I think, is directly connected to, to STM32 F7. Uh, the uh, second one is directed to P PHI uh, to make U USB full speed. Um, this is uh, codec. This is for LAN. And um, um, yeah. And it has two MEMS microphones and a capacitive screen. That's very nice. This one is only resistive and it's already cracked. So, yeah, so this is a quick video to show the performance difference between STM32F4 and F7. And it's, and it's at least two times better. Ah, I can't even. Yeah, it's hang, so. So thank you for watching and have a good day.